Welcome back, my dear grade 7 learners. How are you? I hope you are all fine and safe. I'm Ma'am Marisa D. Ocampo from Dalandana National High School, your health teacher. Are you excited to learn? If yes, let's begin. Before we start our discussion, let us be reminded of the guidelines to follow during our live streaming class. Be on time. Avoid unnecessary words in the comment box. No hate speech. Stay focused and avoid interruptions. Take down notes while listening and watching. Have fun and enjoy learning. Here are the most essential learning competencies for today's lesson. Explains the factor that affect the promotion of good mental health. Explains that stress is normal and inevitable. Differentiates eustress from distress. Identify situations that cause feelings of anxiety or stress. Identifies physical responses of the body to stress. Identifies people who can provide support in stressful situations. Let us first check your prior knowledge by answering our free assessment. Type T in the comment section if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. I will give you a minute to answer. Ready? The answers 1 F 2 T 3 T 4 F 5 T If you've got all the correct answers, good job grade 7 learners! Is it stressful? Type yes if you consider the situation stressful and no if it is not. Let's begin. Losing your money. The answer is yes. Getting a birthday gift. The answer is no. Getting a failing grades. The answer is yes. Arguing with classmates. The answer is yes. Having a newborn sibling. The answer is no. Attending a party. The answer is no. Health is most often being related solely to the physical well-being of an individual. Little do people know that health is more than looking healthy. As we learned in the previous lesson, health has various dimensions. Physical, emotional, mental, social, moral, spiritual, and environmental. Aside from looking healthy, an individual must also be feeling, thinking, and interacting healthy to achieve wellness. 
What is mental health? Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being that affects our way of thinking and our feelings. It determines how we deal with a certain situation and make life choices. There are several factors that affect your mental health. Biological factors or hereditary. Life experiences. Mental disability of family history. Any imbalance in your mental and emotional health may result to stress. What is stress? According to pain, stress is defined as the physiological or physical and emotional responses to a significant or unexpected change or disruption in one's life. It may also refer to what you feel when you react to pressure either from the outside world or from yourself. There are two different kinds of stress. Eustress and distress. Eustress refers to a positive and healthy response of the body from a stressor. It produces good effects to one's well-being. Example of eustress. A person who studied for long hours then took the exam and got an outstanding grade may feel happiness and enjoyment. On the other hand, distress refers to a negative reaction of the body towards a given stressor. It may cause problems in health, alter the mood and emotions, and even affect the way a person thinks. Example of distress When a person walks up late for work, he or she may feel anger and disappointment. It is usually easy to identify whether a person is stressed. Again, stress is the physical response of the body. Therefore, one may feel and experience different changes in the health condition. The body changes that occur from experiencing stress is called General Adaptation Syndrome. According to Hans Selye and Sincero, there are three phases of this syndrome. First, Alarm Stage. This is the stage when a person experiences the flight to fight feelings. A person's body at this stage releases stress hormones such as adrenaline. It enables a person to do things he or she does not usually do. Second, resistance stage. This is the stage when the body has already responded to the stressor. A person in this stage continuously experiencing the stress, but the strong feeling is less than the previous stage. Third stage, exhaustion stage. This is when a person slowly loses the energy to manage the stress. This is also referred to as gate toward burnout or stress overload. At any given moment, a wide variety of circumstances, conditions, and pressures can trigger the stress for anyone. These stress-causing conditions and stresses are referred to as stressors. Stressors may come from external and or internal causes. These are the common internal stressors. Chronic worry, pessimism, neg negative self-talk, 
unrealistic expectations or perfectionism, rigid thinking, lack of flexibility, all or nothing attitude. These are the common external stressors. Major life changes, work or school, relationship difficulty, financial problems, children and family. How can you identify a person who is experiencing stress? What do you think will happen if a person could not overcome stress? There are different ways on how to deal with it. Some people react to stress differently. Here are some of the physical reactions of people to stress. Nail biting. Drinking coffee. Insomnia. Restlessness. Changes in appetite. Behavioral changes. Fears. Bed wetting. Learning how to manage stress takes practice. Here are some ways or steps on how to manage your stress. Exercise. Eat well. Take a break. Make time for habits and talk about your problems. Who are the people who can provide support in stressful situations? And what are their roles in your life? These are the people who can provide support in stressful situations. You have your family, your friends, teachers, and religious leaders. Let's have an activity. Click happy face if you consider the situation as a source of stress, and a sad face if it causes distress. I will give you a 5 seconds to answer. Ready? Dealing with heartbreak. The answer is sad face. A new pet. The answer is happy face. Fighting with family members and friends. The answer is sad face. Falling grades. The answer is sad face. Making a new friend. The answer is happy face. Good job, grade 7! Having a good social support system is important in maintaining motivation and managing stress. Surrounding oneself with family and friends can provide encouragement and support through stressful times. Let's find out what you have learned in our lesson. Type T in the comment section if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. I will give you a minute to answer. Ready?
the answers. 1, T. 2, F. 3, F. 4, T. 5, T. Well done, learners! Remember, stop focusing on how stressed you are. And remember how blessed you are. Once again, I'm Mam Ma Marisa D. Ocampo. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you on our next Valenzuela Live, Mape 7.